Hello and welcome to the Games for All podcast, episode 16. I'm your host, Dan Young, and with me is always my good friend. James Craigie, Halo Gimp for a day. Okay, so welcome to the special Halo Reach edition of the show. Um, this is an extra episode we're going to do uh, for this week. One off. A one off jobby. Um, there can be two episodes this week, so expect another one tomorrow. But for today, we're talking Halo Reach. It's come out today. We've just got our hands on a copy of it. And we're going to do... This is the plan, right? We were going to do a video, okay? Um, but we figured it was going to take too long. It wouldn't be up online in time. It was all kinds of craziness that, you know... I mean, usually we would do a video, but... We figured it would probably be easier, considering the circumstances, to do uh, another episode of the audio podcast based around Halo Reach. Now, this is a big game. A lot of people are excited about it. Here comes the disclaimer, folks. Me and James... We don't play no Halo. Uh, we we are no no on the Halo, basically. Um, that probably stems from the fact that I never owned an original Xbox. Uh, but see, I had the original Halo on PC and kind of enjoyed it, but never really got into it, which is sort of surprising because it's a sci-fi shooter thing. It's so yeah, I mean, kind you, of my you, bag. Yeah, maybe. and then and the shooter side of things for me more, but like. My only real experience of Halo is in a kiosk in a game store, playing it on the original Xbox when it first came out. I uh, played a bit of it, thought it was okay, and uh, that's about it really. I mean, I think I played a bit of a demo on the Mac. Hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, other than that, um, because I didn't own an original Xbox, um, this isn't a series I got into, so that's our disclaimer. We don't really play Halo, so... This whole episode is going to be from the perspective of some Halo noobs. So it's going to be kind of interesting. We've never really played Halo, and, you know, this is a big deal. It's a big game. A lot of people are excited about it. So we are suffering we for you. We did not really want to leave you guys out, because, you know, we have we do have a lot of listeners to the show. Surprisingly, don't know why. Um, but, you know, it is... <laughs> Fair oh, um, no, no, no. Don't pick yourself up too much. <laughs> no, I'm trying to. Um, and, you know... If we kind of just did nothing about this, um, it would be noticed. Um, and we'd so be doing we, a disservice to you. Exactly. So we'd kind of want to do something for the Halo fanboys. So if you're a Halo fanboy and you're listening to this, this show's for you. We hope you enjoy. Uh, press start the game up. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to play the first hour, let's just say, of Halo Reach. Uh, this is not going to be a full review of the game, of course. We're just going to give our, let's just say, first impressions from our own perspectives. I know very little about the Halo universe. Obviously, it's been fleshed out. There's been several games. Um, people know the score. We don't know the score. So this will be interesting. So James is going to take over for the first part of the playthrough. Hello. And and we have we have you- opening title sequence, it, it appears. Uh, this is Bungie's last uh, Halo game, I do believe. Yeah, but it probably won't be the last Halo game. No, 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 yeah. No, uh, it's not going to be the last Halo game. It will, yeah. Yeah, it's Bungie's last Halo game. That's what I just said. So, um, so Planet. <laughs> this is... <laughs> if you expected a really in-depth kind of commentary... Uh, Another planet. Don't... don't yeah, you, you were wrong. Okay, so... Um, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Noble Team. Uh, first things first, male or female, James? <laughs> That's up to the bu- for debate. <laughs> go with male, we'll go with male. Yeah. So we're going to set up our character. Um, we've been awarded 5,000 credits for being a noob. Brilliant. Um, right. Uh, do you want to, like, f- um, bling this guy out a little l- bit? Yeah, it looks like some sort of character creation. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've got some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> this isn't going to be that interesting for anybody to listen to, but we apologise. Um, just pick a fucking helmet. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, so I mean, you have to un- you have to unlock that shit, dude. The yeah. looks of it. So um, it's going to be a very different episode already, as you can probably tell. Um, right now, we're just fanning around with the uh, character creation. It's pretty much focusing around different types of helmets at the moment. Just pick a freaking helmet, dude. You haven't got enough for that. You have missing prerequisites. So, um. Why give me here if I can't have it? Yeah, you have to unlock it, dude. Alright, dude, just. Alright, maybe we should just skip the whole character creation thing. Oh. Alright. Um, so yeah, a very different episode of the show, as you can probably tell. 
Um, we, you know, we want to do something a little different uh, to celebrate. I guess you could say Halo Reach. Um, this all costs credits that we don't have. You know. Jesus. Anyway, um, I kind of yes, like it so far. Yes, sir. <laughs> and yeah. that's not saying much because we're only really, you know. Uh, we pick, James is picking an emblem right now. Um, chicken. The chicken. On what? fire. <laughs> it's <laughs> the the um, KFC logo. Um, <laughs> uh, flaming cock. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's what you'd be called online if uh, yeah. if we were going to play this online. That's what I get called in the street. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're not going to play any online because uh, I, I think that would be just too much embarrassing and embarrassment. Yes. For um for one for one morning. Um. Okay, c dude. I'm I, done. I'm going to have done. to cut a lot of this shit out. <laughs> for what? Right. So, uh, we're now picking some armor colors. Uh, what are we going with? The blue looks blue. good. Go with the blue. Okay, so we've got the blue. That's all got, got that all going on. Yeah, stay with the bluish. No? Alright, pink. <laughs> blue and pink. It's, you know, still, there's a lot of gender confusion going on right now. Uh, so oh, I get to change the color of my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> As in the bird <laughs> emblem. Yeah, okay, great. Oh, I'm so glad people have <laughs> downloaded this. Um, right. Sorry, we're getting a bit hysterical here. <laughs> this wouldn't normally be happening if we weren't recording a fucking podcast. Okay, um... Bloody hell! Can we play some of this? Alright, alright, alright. Ooh, credits. Title yeah, yeah. thing. It's so very sort of... of Atmospheric. Yeah. I, oh, I do I see like a little that. bit of rain. That's very stylish. That's kind of pretty. Um, so, you start solo campaign or main menu? I'm thinking start solo campaign. I'm Since thinking main we... menu. Oh, go main menu then? No. Oh, I don't think. Uh, so, being as win, <laughs> don't go legendary. Uh, selecting difficulty. Uh, let's go easy. <laughs> uh, it's the traditional sort of blank shield, one knife, two, two knives. knives, two knives, and big scary skull. Yeah. I think that's in every one of them. Yeah. So, easy. Yeah. No knives. We, 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 we are noobs. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, we're loading. We're loading. Um, I'm guessing we're going to see some kind of glorious little cutscene or something. Weird Next. little lights. No. So it's all good so far. It's very dark at the moment. Right. There's music. You can hear that. I'm sure. They can hear that. Planet. There's <laughs> a lot of planets in there. On fire. Is it? What am I cock? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I may just put this out uncut, so be careful. Alright. Um, I don't really know what we're looking at, but it's kind of pretty. Yeah, it, it does look nice. It's sort of a planet on fire. I mean, get, I mean the thing is, that it's, I mean, this is a prequel, like you said earlier, but there's still a lot of story put in place that we obviously have no clue as to what is actually going on right now because no. we don't play Halo, as I will mention profusely throughout the length of this episode. That looks like my helmet. Why is there a bullet hole in my helmet? Um, are you talking about your cock again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Reach. Reach. <laughs> Okay, reach. Big title. Oh? That's you. Oh, and you're putting your helmet on. That's pretty nice, considering you get to pick what you look like, so that would obviously be different yeah. dependent on each Planet helmet. reach. July 24th, 2005, whatever. I do have to say, it does look but Yeah, that's what nice. I was just thinking. It does look really good. Um... Is this? Oh is, this is, 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 is this going to be like turning into the Halo fans? I don't know. Is this an engine, do you think, or is it... I think so. It looks an engine, actually. Oh, interesting. Uh, I've got to be honest, this actually looks nicer than I expected. Yeah. I mean, the game's not really started yet, but like... All signals flatlined at 2,600 hours. Oh. I responded with Trooper Fire Team. I might have to get mine copy of this. Yeah, MIA. that is. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval Intelligence so, obviously, uh, there, there's, there's, that's a cool helmet. 
disagree. All right, mate. It's the, what's with the helmet? Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've... So that's our new number six. Pretty much, um... Yeah. You read his file? Not going to show his face, really obviously, because you haven't designed that. No. Um... Like I say, we don't really know what, what, what's going on right now. Um, I'm guessing, right, it's pretty much shoot the bad guys. Yeah. Kind of, that kind of thing. This is, seems to be the exposition thing, which we're not really listening to because we're talking. Oh, we don't really know what's going on anyway, so. Sir, consider it done. Then I'll see you on the other side. Hold it down. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter. Noble team's leader. That's Cat, Noble Two, Neil and George, Four and Five. You're riding with me, Noble Six. So, um, voice acting not too bad. Pretty standard sort of thing. Um, mo cap seems pretty cool. Um, it does, there seems to be a few frame rate, a little frame rate drop occasionally. Yeah. Not that that's anything worth noting, it's a cutscene, doesn't really matter. But it's an engine, which is great. I'm glad that I haven't gone the kind of uh, pre rendered, like, just video uh, route yeah. that a lot of games seem to go for. Visually, I don't know if it's much different to other Halo games, but it's got a very sort of James Cameron mm. feel to it. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah. I don't, we haven't even played anything yet. So, yeah, it's all good. Uh, do we get to play something now? No. <laughs> there'll, there'll be like a tutorial thing, I imagine. All right, we'll see. We'll see. I, I doubt... Still was playing it, though. It's not the same thing. You know, obviously, if you were a big fan <laughs> of the series, you might not need a tutorial. Yeah, probably yeah. not. We're noobs, so, you know. Yeah. If you're a new, please contact us at uh, podcast at gamesforpodcast.com. <laughs> Liking the flashy lights? It's a lot of flashy lights. This is the load screen, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah that's the load screen. Okay. I've been out a couple of times. Wee. Listen up, nice. noble team. It's, it's, it's worth mentioning with the frame rate issue. We, we haven't that. installed this one. We're oh, no, we're just playing uh, it straight from the disc. Get it back Hence the extreme noise coming from your Xbox. And smoke. Yeah. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> yeah, actually, this game is quite pretty. I hate to use that word, but a lot of detail and attention yeah. is going to just the smallest things, like just texture-wise. Yeah. I mean, this, is this still an engine? I can't really I tell now. I think so. But it does look amazing. Yeah, I think this is an engine. Yeah. I mean, you can sort of see Andy Ailey's thing and stuff. Yeah. Wow. So you're now going somewhere? This just reminds me so much of Avatar. Yeah, sort of a little. Sort of visually. Maybe that isn't a great comparison. Who knows? No. Yes, sir. Blue. Let's stay focused. What did? What did um, oh, oh, we've got oh. hard, we have hard. Alright, so we're looking around, we're looking around. Is this, oh, this may be where you get to set up, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to set up your, your, if you want inverted uh, yeah. good camera controls and things. Alright then. Oh, right, so is, is it just dumping you straight into a mission? It looks like it. I think maybe it'll be like the tutorial mission where you will get to change sort of things, but do it. While you're doing stuff. Like yeah. Actual you're objectives. Wow, are these cabbages? Um, foliage. A lot of foliage. It looks alright. It looks nice. Like we say, hey noobs. So this looks pretty much like anything I've seen about Halo, really. Yeah. Um, but it is, it is quite a good looking game so far. Um, and your current mission objective is to check out something. I only, only got so much of what was said just then. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so now you figured out how to zoom in and stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, maybe I should. So, yes, check out the Ah, controls. yes. Button layout. Yeah. Use weapon, melee, use grenades, use equipment. 
Sorry. Apologies for um, this being um, extremely mind-numbingly fucking boring. Shh. Night vision. <laughs> oh, cool, you get night vision. Can't wait till it's night. Ooh. That looks kind of cool. So, um, this game's a big deal. Um, you know, anytime a Halo game comes out, there's always a huge thing, a huge deal about it, you know, and obviously the people who play Halo, they get that, they understand, you know, um, for me personally, obviously because I don't play Halo, I kind of, I kind of get other people's excitement for games, because they're games I'm excited for, obviously, um, you know, but personally, there's such a big, you know, um, such a big I think volume, maybe part, yeah, part of the turn off is the fact that it's so this is kind of like the poster boy thing yeah and see if I'd only owned an Xbox when Halo came out I'd probably be playing this right now I'd be into it but because so much has already gone on you've had Halo Combat Evolved you've had Halo 2 uh, ODST I am tempted yeah. to get ODST to be honest because it has got like half the cast of Firefly in it oh right okay so it is you got um, Nathan Fillon, you got uh, what's his name, the guy who plays Wash, and you got Adam Baldwin. Adam Baldwin, yeah, that's it. And Excellent. Yeah, that's they're cool. all in it, they're all part yeah. of your squad, so it'd be far fly. That could be kind of interesting. Yeah, so um, so far you've just done a bit of running around, you found something, and oh, is that, that's ostriches, but ostriches. Can you shoot one? Let's go hunting. Hey, you just killed an ostrich. We're eating tonight, boys! Ostrich burgers. Alright, fair these. Okay then, so... Um, we're going to try and keep this as interesting as we can. I'm, I'm sure we've probably failed already. <laughs> but, you know... Um, we are, we're doing a playthrough of the first hour just to get a feel for the game. Obviously, it's not going to be a fair representation of the game. This is no part a review of the game. This is just our first impressions of it. Uh, we're playing literally from the beginning, uh, about an hour's worth. Um, just so we we've, so we can say we've played it, so we can talk about it. Um, I'm sure, well, I'm hoping I'll find the time to play through it and be able to talk about the game as a whole. Um, at another juncture in time, but right now um, we wanted to put something up for, for the release of this game for day one. We found some kind of survivors now. Green reticle. I presume that means that they're friends. Yeah. There's no um, aiming. No, there is no aiming. It's all shooting from the hip. Mm. I think the left trigger is grenades. Okay. That's probably normal. I see. So, for me personally, I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of shooters. I like shooters. Um, this, for me, I think another reason why I'm not into it is because it's maybe a bit too science fictiony. Um, I'm not the biggest science fiction fan. Um, whereas you are, but you're not the biggest shooter. Oh, you've got a pistol. Uh, the 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 you're not the biggest shooter fan so really in a way between us you know it, it it isn't really on our radars as much as maybe it could be or should be um well, i'm thinking that might change so i'm actually quite enjoying this cool well it looks good i mean like james has taken over the control as he's playing for the first half hour or so and then uh then i'll probably take over but you, you, you know you'll see your first thoughts are that you're enjoying it so far yeah I said it looks nice. Controls pretty sort of simple, easy to get to grips with. Yeah, cool. There's definitely a story going on. So you found some bodies. Looks like they've been interrogated. Apparently, I'm not sure how you can tell that, but um, something above you. I'm guessing. There's lots of rain going on in this game. Yeah. But it does look it does look extremely nice though I've got to yeah. say um, but in, to be fair in this generation that's pretty much to be expected this game is a huge deal the franchise has made a lot of money and you know it is it is pretty much the you know the the Xbox franchise you know aside from like maybe Gears of War it is yeah you know the big franchise for this console and why shouldn't it look 
Amazing. Does that do anything? No, no. I guess not. <laughs> um, so right now, it, it, you're kind of... Um, it seems fairly... I'm not going to say on rails, obviously. It's not on rails. It's not what I'm looking for. It's, you know... Obviously, you've got predetermined path as to where you're going to go. But it does seem like there's lots of areas where you could get lost. Yeah. You know, it is quite big and open. And, oh, there's stuff going on outside. Oh. Wow. Shoot them motherfuckers. Red reticle, that means you can shoot them. So how are you finding the um, combat then? Okay. That does not blow up, I'm guessing. That might. I'm really missing the like precision aiming. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's shooting from the hip doesn't seem to be. Well, as we all know, it's not going to be that accurate. But like, it seems very kind of. Um, I, like I, think that's, I, think, I think with this game though, I probably would uh, get a little annoyed of, you know, not being able to like mm. aim properly. Let's just say. Yeah. Production-wise, I'm saying this game looks is is pretty awesome. We've got grenades. Left trigger for grenades. All right. Okay, I have to remember to do that one. For not aiming. Okay, there's a grenade. Eat that. Is there anything? See, I mean, I'm not really sure as to who these alien creatures are. So, like, I can't give... I mean, we'd like to be able to talk in depth about, you know, the story and stuff. And what's going on. As in... Oh, you can pick up their weapons, dude. I know. Let me try that. Let me try that. Can you swap it out? Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Picked up a needler. Alright, excellent. Plasma pistol. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, yeah. Oh, the reticles changed. Mm. See, we're probably talking about this. This is probably all old. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't but, know. We don't know much. Um, we are Halo noobs. We've just said it enough. But you know, it's true. You know. Hmm. Waterfall. I've got to be honest. A lot of attention and detail, like I said earlier, has gone into the environment. And it actually looks really nice. There's a lot of effects going on and stuff, you know, that are quite subtle. It's like motion blur as well, I've noticed occasionally. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's a normal thing, but um, it actually works really well. It's, uh, it's asking you to use the grenades again, whether that's important or not. I do not know. Very dramatic music, yet there's not much happening. See, I think a bit in the in the in the way like um, like with Call of Duty, a lot of people buy this game more for the multiplayer side of things. Well, we apologise, but we're not really going to talk about the multiplayer side of things. Wait, what happened there? Um, not yet, at least. I may get some hands-on time with this multiplayer and see how it goes. But um, you know, we may be talking about that next week or something. I think the regular listeners will know I'm not a big multiplayer gamer. Right. I like my stories. So okay, the Covenant. The These are the Covenant I keep hearing about. Yeah. See, when did you get when did you get your hands on a big ass minigun? I don't know. See if you can swap it. Ask him nicely. So, I don't know, he's bigger than me. <laughs> it, yeah, it, um, I see what you're saying with the whole avatar thing. It does aesthetically look... There are similarities, let's just say. Um, whether or not the Halo purists will be offended by that or not, I do not know. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But it, it, everything looks really... Not, I mean, it's it's quite a nice-looking shooter, let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, more ostriches. 
more stuff to kill. So far though, it seems pretty basic, kind of. Oh, hello, up in there. Bit of um, got stuck in a wall. Yeah. All right, now it's getting a little bit more interesting. Combat's getting a little bit more intense. It's good. So I'm guessing for like, for the Halo fans who like a bit of action, this is going to be quite welcomed. Um, it seemed to be a bit of a slow start, but now it's kind of all kind of. Seems like it's all kicking off now. Yeah. Where's your objective? Whoa. Redcon East Valley. Well, I'm sort of heading baby northeast. Oh, there it is. There you go, there you go. Oh, oh, vehicle section. Let's get in. Is he getting in? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Um, it's quite red, I think, to see a vehicle section in the game so early. So. Ah. Controls are weird. Really? How so? Yeah, it's like left stick is forward. You don't steer with the left stick. You steer with the right stick. Oh, I get it. Ostrich. Right. No. no, no. <laughs> so um. Oh. We're tr you're trying to hit an ostrich with your. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It didn't work out so well. You kind of oh yeah, yeah. So it's like basically like a remote control car. I keep wanting to ah, yeah. steer with the left stick, but yeah. it's not working out. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. I like it. Hey, I hit something. Cool. Anyway, um, on with the object objective. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just launched an ostrich. <laughs> That was funny. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> thank you for downloading. <laughs> we, we will admit that um, it's probably not the, the best idea we've ever come up with for a show, <laughs> playing an hour's worth of Halo and talking about it. Because um, let's be honest, in real time it's not actually that interesting, being as especially as we don't know much about Halo. I can't stress that enough. Wait, where'd he come from? I don't know. But he's going under the car. He didn't die, did he? He will be shot at. It would appear. Someone's pissed off with you. I can't see anything. Whoa. Alrighty then. So, um... The car controls take a bit of getting used to. Hmm. Well, that's a checkpoint. I... I'm going to get out of the vehicle. Cool. I know your reticle change red when you aimed at the tree. Evil tree. So I've never really got quite what the fascination with this game is. I mean, I get that it's kind of good. I get that it kind of enjoyable and I get that the multiplayer side is quite um you know competitive uh you know it is a popular game but I I don't really quite fully understand why exactly um you know and if anyone can tell me um answer on a postcard <laughs> no it's just one of those games I've never really got into for many reasons but so far I think you're kind of enjoying it yeah it's alright <laughs>
hard to tell sort of what is standard and what's new, what they've added. Yeah, obviously, because I mean, we don't, we, we know shit. <laughs> oh, you can just walk through glass, that's cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to say, like, I've not played this yet, obviously, I'm, you know, you're, you're controlling this right now. Um, but so far, it looks fairly standard shooter to me. I mean, you know, it's sort of what I expected in some ways, and, um, in a way, I'm disappointed that it was. It don't seem. I mean, it looks better than I thought. Yeah. That surprised me. But just watching you play this, it looks pretty much like general a general kind of shooter. To generic. Me. I mean, yeah, a little yeah. bit generic. But you know, I mean, I I mean I don't get Halo anyway, so that's just me. But um, you know, a lot of people are excited for this, so we'll give it the chance. Yeah, yeah, it deserves. Um, so you're going to try some of the alien, alien tech. Interesting. A lot of ricochets going on. Kind of cool. I can't see me, like, getting into this too much, personally. No. But that's just me. Oh, I'm meant to be heading up over there. Yeah, I think you should uh, try and go somewhere. We're going to try and get... Get a decent play for this if we can. Um, now would be probably a good time to remind people that we have a few live shows coming up um, on the 30th of September, 28th of October, and 31st of December. All of them will be live via our website, which is www.gamesforallpodcast.com, the number four, and on Ustream. We have a Ustream channel. Uh, if you go to ustream.tv and type in Games for All Podcast, you should find our channel. And um, the shows will be going live at around about 7 o'clock in the evening on those particular nights. Um, seems like the badass dude has got onto the back of your vehicle now. He's mounted up his minigun. Cool. Good All old right. George. Right. I'm still really struggling with the controls. I can tell. I so you basically found found an area where there's some bad motherfuckers and you uh, dealt with them? Yeah. And now you're chasing some more ostriches? I mean, maybe I'm missing something here, but it doesn't seem... It, it seems like just when things are getting interesting, it kind of it all dies down. It's all over too quickly. Um, and that's something I'm kind of not liking about it at the moment. It's like hunting for trouble. Rather than yeah, being in a war zone. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like his recon, basically. Yeah, uh, true. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not digging it too much so far. It's all right, you know. But, you know. Um, yeah. Facebook. We're on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> oh. And uh, Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash games for all. So. This pretty much marks our. Um, the start, this, uh, this pretty much marks the start of the kind of big game releases of the year. You know, what I mean, at the end of the day, um, when it comes to the holiday season, let's just say, um, you know, you get, the, you get massive games coming out. The, you know, the most anticipated games of the year usually come out at the end of the year, um, more often than not, and. It's September, which seems a little earlier than normal, but you know we're already having games like Halo Reach and uh, you know Dead Rising Two coming out. I mean, you know, so it's kind of an exciting time right now. Plenty to talk about, and um, you know, at the moment there's not plenty to talk about because <laughs> at the moment you're just shooting peeps, not in peeps. Alien dudes wearing armor. He's an ugly little fucker, isn't he? He hasn't got a bottom jaw. No, he's just got lots of side jaws. Yeah. Alright. I'm up, I'm up. Now you have to talk. Right, so I'm taking over the controls. Um, I'd I mean, say one thing I like compared to most shooting games 
Oh, yeah, you, you're not going to drive the vehicle then. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go on, talk. Uh, one, one thing I am liking about this is, um... What? Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Oh, you have to be very... You have to really stay with a... Oh. Well, you don't. You just sort of point it where you want to go, and it just goes. <laughs> but, yeah, it is a bit... It takes a bit used to. So I'll go all the way up here to this. I don't know. I think I can get used to this. But I like how a lot of shooting games, like you say, are on rails. Yeah. This has, like, a fairly large open area. Yeah, just some oh, yeah. To exploring. Yeah, boy. But I am missing the um, left trigger aim. Yeah, me too. Actually, um, now I'm actually playing it. I re yeah, I really do. Uh, it's right bumper to attack. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to be Okay, then. All seems to be kicking off. A little bit. A little bit. It's always going to get quiet now. Defend the evacuation. You see, from what I remember of Halo 1, it's very sort of similar to this. I think it might be a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Possibly, yeah. Well, I know these Spartan thingies that you are are supposed to be like the badasses, and the Master Chief was meant to be the last one. So the fact that you've got a whole squad of them now. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Hey ho. Alright, I'm not doing so well. No. I'll just uh, hide out like a little pussy. A little pussy girl. Alright, your health is recharged. Your shield's are recharging. Um, personally, like, uh, while I'm playing this, I'm kind of... Running out of ammo. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I do quite like the ostriches running through the battle. Yeah, it's something different. I'm not really, um... You're not feeling it? I'm not feeling it so much. I'm not into this. Um, obviously, we still keep playing it, but... It seems like, it seems... A lot of it seems very generic to me, and, um, you know, I mean, it, you know, there's bits yeah. I like, don't get me wrong. You see, I, th I think, yeah, we are sort of comparing it like, to other Halo games, which we know, I think, as a game on its own, you know, it looks nice. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. I think I would do that, but I think gameplay-wise, it's a bit similar, especially considering, like... Call of Duty, you get big action set pieces yeah. from the get go. Yeah. Whereas this hasn't had that. It's kind of like small skirmishes. Doesn't feel kind of slow burn almost. Yeah. To me anyway. But I don't know. That looks almost sort of modern nowadays type thing. But no, it is a pretty game. That's the thing, that's the best thing going for it. I mean, look at that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think the best thing about it at the moment I'm noticing is that it does look, it is a nice looking game. Can't deny that. Right. I think a lot of... See, from what I know of the story... 
it's all a little bit kind of well, I don't want to say pretentious and put the game down, but a bit sort of too melodramatic, too big on itself. I mean, it's got the epic music going and everything. But, but it really is. It really probably is for the fanboys. Let's be honest. Yeah, I think Not basically the, 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 it sort of sells itself. It doesn't need. It knows it's got an audience. It knows people are going to buy it. And it knows what it's, what it's catering for. Yeah, you're nearly out of bullets. You might want to swap weapons in a second, just got one bullet left. I think in itself, I'm actually kind of getting used to the fact that we have, I have no aiming. It actually, kind of doesn't work too bad. No, I think it's sort of there's a lot of auto aiming. As long as the red calls red, you will hit what you're shooting at. Here's a fucking punch in the nuts. There. <laughs> I mean, this is sort of getting towards the epicness, but it sort of starts and stops a lot. Stops yeah. and starts a lot. Flanking motherfucker. I think there is that whole not knowing who you're fighting against, not knowing what the story is, why you're here. It does affect I mean with other shooters, even the sci-fi ones, they do set up everything. I think maybe this presumes too much that you don't need it. Um, like, yeah, I mean, like I said a minute ago, it really is for the fanboys, it really is for yeah. the, the people who know the Halo universe, who are familiar with the, you know, familiar with their, all sides of this, really, and, you know, that is not us. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe it does presume a little bit there. It isn't catering for people who are just trying to get into Halo. I mean, yeah, this is a prequel, but it's probably... It's, I'm guessing Bungie aren't recommending this to be the first game of Halo that you play. You no. Know? Seriously, have I got a fucking... There we go. Right, oh, yeah, then it looks like we've just sealed ourselves inside. The fight is over for now. Look at me like I'm supposed to be doing something. Oh, weapons. There we go, some of the sight on. Oh bugger. So this is this is part of me uh you know. Alright, okay. Oh there we go. A mere click of the right stick and we can zoom in. That's kinda cool. Night vision? Yeah, I know night vision. Talk to me about night vision. <laughs> I invented night vision. Oh, that's a lot of wall. Number six, search that buddy. Search that buddy? Body. Oh, dear. We got split. I don't think they. It sounded bad on the cops. So we've been playing this for probably around 40 minutes now, and there hasn't been a single achievement yet. Disappointed. Found something. 
I'll take that, I'm kind of wondering how much is this into the campaign? How expansive is the single player game? Today? I know ADS2 wasn't very long. Um, but this is a full game, so. Lots of Russian. So why are we watching this? Why aren't we controlling this? Yeah. Is that supposed to make me feel... I am kind of controlling it. No. Oh, what? No, come on now. Why did they come out of them guns? I get guns. There, now we're talking. The physics on it are quite nice. Yeah, not too bad. Whoa. I just want to blow some shit up. Yeah. So this is sort of a different side to it. This is like interiors clearing, more sort of standard shooter. Fair, I would say. Flush them out, shall we? Should flush them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right up. Is the server room? Quite possibly. Bitch. Ah, oh, you evil bastard. <laughs> yeah! You can pick up the sword. Can I? Is it just a melee weapon? Yeah. Powerful, eh? How are you finding that sort of section of it? Um, a little bit more interesting, I think. Um, it's, it's t I mean, I know it's the first day of the game. We can't really say it's a fair representation of the whole piece, uh, but it does seem a bit hit and miss to me. Um, it's all right, you know. I mean, I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying it for now. I don't see it being something that I'm going to be too eager to kind of pick up and play again. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I know what you know. I'm gonna play a little bit more, but like I said, I think it does. It probably does really help to know <laughs> Halo, really. Yeah. And, like, because we don't, we're obviously not gonna enjoy it as much as most people will. Um. <laughs> Planet. <laughs> I haven't seen him over in about half an hour. Yeah. 
So obviously this is a bit difficult for us to follow and like I said therefore enjoy but uh, we can base this off of our own off of its own merits I suppose as a, as a game. A Basically game. boils down to atmospheric set piece get in bit of a fight hunt bit of a fight hunt bit of a fight drive a remote control car three, yeah no, so I mean, don't, we're not taking a piss, but like it's, it's, it's really not. Oh, I'm fucking out of this. So personally, it's not my kind of game. Um, I can appreciate it. I can, I can sort of get why people like it, but yeah, I'm not fully understand exactly Same. why people like it. I, I, th I think I got more respect for it, even though it's not my game I can understand yeah I can see why this has a big following but it's very much its own thing it's not you can't sort of bunch it in together with all the other shooters because it's quite a lot different yeah. to them I think in a, in a especially in a generation of gaming where there's so many generic run of the mill fucking shitty poorly executed first person shooters Halo does stand head and shoulders above the rest yeah but you still have to be into it you yeah. still have to kind of get it you still have to kind of and I do, I do think you know it's all fair to say that you know we can we're judging this from of its own merits because we don't know we haven't really played much in a way of halo um but it is daunting i mean it's daunting for people like us because we're not, we, we don't know what's going on and you know the, the story is going to be hard to follow it's not set up in a way that it explains much to you and I think you know Bungie probably know now because they've made several games a lot of Halo games that you know they don't need to set things up their audience their core audience is you know made up of people who have already played this and who, you know the hardcore is it is, it is a very niche the elites of the core Elite of the core, exactly. And I'm probably going to die because I don't know what's <laughs> going on. I'm trying to think and talk and. No. I have to say, I think it's more impressive than I thought it would be, but still yeah. not my game, which is surprising because this is, you sort of think, totally my thing. You know? It's just. It's, I love my sci fi, I love my shooters. Let's just play it out. But there's just something about this that's just not connecting with me. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I should. I feel like I should be enjoying it more. Yeah. Than I am, and I'm not sure. And I think it's. I sort of do know why, and I don't know why at the same time. It's. It is partly because I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm not a Halo fanboy, and you know. Because I haven't played the other Halo games. Yeah. No, I totally get that. It's just, it's not connecting with me. But in a way, it's a shame that this game isn't, you know, isn't doing more of a job to kind of get people into Halo. I yeah. I think it's kind of um, not excluding people or being kind of, you know, uh, making people feel like an, out oh, like an outsider. Like, you know, I mean, there will be people who... Perhaps we'll pick this up. Who aren't aren't into Halo like us? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they may be turned off from it fairly, almost straight away. See, although we can't compare it to like other Halo games because we haven't played them, I can compare it to other shooters. And I have to say, even though this is probably should be more my sort of thing. I found myself connecting more with the Modern Warfare series. Yeah. Which really wasn't my typical thing, is it? It's not the sort no, of game. No, I, I think, like, um... Yeah, I just picked up a rubber one. Um... I sort of think, between this and Mass Effect, I know which one I wish I was playing now. As, as nice as this is... Yeah. And as much fun as a lot of people will have with it... It's not my cup of oh, great. Yeah. 
Well, well I'd say we are very close to approaching our hour into this game. I, I mean, obviously, the first hour isn't going to be the fairest representation of what this game has to offer. Um, but, you know, it, in theory, it should be putting its best foot forward. <laughs> it's too sci fi, maybe a little too too kind of geeky for me. I don't really want to say that, but you know. I mean, I do. See, this is what I don't understand. You know, it's sci fi. Yes, I like. It's got guys in really powerful armor. Yeah, I like. It's got alien baddies, cool weapons, everything that ticks all my boxes, but I'm just not connecting with it. Yeah, um. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I mean, obviously, it's more. It, it's a sort of game that's more suited to you than me personally. Um. But I do, I do feel very, you know, disconnected to the whole thing, like you were saying. And I get it, I understand what you mean. Um, you know, maybe I could get into it, but, you know, I think it would take a while. Yeah. I'm sort of, in, the more I play, I'm enjoying it a little more, but like, you know, um, I kind of hoped I'd be a little more into it at this point. But I think right now you could quite happily put it down and not ever. Yeah, not really have to pick it. Hello, that might change my mind. Sniper. Oh, it's got like a heat seek thing scope. Cool. Um. Okay then. Right, so now's probably a good time to leave it at that. So we've 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 had our first taste of Halo. Um, although we may not seem sort of um, too serious about it, I have to say there were parts of it I really like. Mm. Certain aspects of it I like. I, don't I like, think it, I like I don't... the look of the game, and yeah. I like, aesthetically, I like the game. Yeah. Um, there's an experience system. There is an experience system which we've yet to really sort of experience. Yeah. <laughs> but. No, I don't think it's a bad game. I think if you're a Halo fan... you bloody love it. Nerdgasm much. Yeah, I mean, you, you, that's the thing, you, you, you know. Yeah. We, we've been, so we said it a few times, but it is good. It is good for Halo fans. It's a, ga it is a game for the fans. And Yeah, I'm certainly not going to look at Halo and just sort of dismiss it because it's Halo anymore. I'm just going to say yeah, it's not my sort of thing. Yeah. I think I think I feel pretty much the same way about it. Um, you know, it's fair to say. I mean, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Um, you know, I do. I mean, I don't want to see it such say, like, in such black and white terms. But you know, as far as shooters go, you do kind of have a segregation. You know, people who play Halo and people who play Call of Duty, and you know, they're both very different games, and they've both got their merits, and you know. But for yeah. me, I am more of the Call of Duty person, and even though you're not so much into your shooters, you are probably more of a Call of Duty person too. Yeah. Um, so I've enjoyed my time with Halo Reach, even though it's been brief. Um, I have enjoyed it, and I will try and play more. Um, overall, I mean, as our first impressions go, I think it's, you know... Um, not impressed me overly impressed me but it's it does seem fairly generic as far as um shooters go i mean i don't know how maybe it's because halo set a certain standard and everyone's followed suit after that maybe that's why to us it feels generic yeah i think because we missed out first time round, yeah it's gonna be a big yeah. struggle for us to get into but, it anyway. um to be fair, um, it like you said earlier, it looks like a whole kind of if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of scenario with this game. Yeah. So if you loved Halo Three and Halo ODST and all that kind of stuff, I can't see why this wouldn't be worth picking up for you guys. So, yeah. um, and it is gorgeous to look at the visuals. Yeah, it is actually a really nice looking game. You can't moan at that at all, not one bit. Um, so 
we apologise if this <laughs> if this episode seemed a little bit I'm not going to say on the rush side but like a little bit sort of uh, you know incoherent maybe <laughs> that's normal to be fair yeah. but um, yeah we've, we've edited the show down a little bit because obviously there's times when we haven't been talking there's stuff we needed to cut out but we played a good hour of it and um, I'm glad we did it I feel I yeah. feel like we've achieved something yes. even though we haven't actually met, got any achievements yet well, I know <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. Um, For an achievement whore. Not not quite so much worth it, but I um, know oh there was that one achievement for starting a game. All oh right, okay, fair enough. Um, so <laughs> nothing since then. Yeah. <laughs> so um, want to thank everyone for listening. Hope it's been um, entertaining. I wouldn't, I'm not going to say informative because if you're listening to this and you know pretty much about. Well, if you're a Halo fanboy, you know everything there is to know about Halo, and there's nothing we could have told you that you probably don't already know. So, we hope it's been entertaining. Uh, this has been Halo Reach from the perspective of two Halo moves, otherwise known as the Games for Podcast. Um, Hello. So, thanks for listening. Um, join us in a day or two for the podcast. Join us, yeah, we're going to have another show up again this week. Um, really hope you can listen to that a little bit more structure to that one yeah <laughs> um, so this is a wrap for episode 16 and uh, please check for, check your downloads tomorrow for another episode things will be back to normal ish yes so thank you very much for listening and goodbye goodbye goodbye